Sooner Tea Party co-founder Al Gearhart was sentenced on felony blackmail and computer crimes charges on Tuesday. Gearhart was ordered to pay a $1,000 fine. He was accused of sending a politically charged email to a state senator in March of 2013. The Oklahoman's Nolan Clay reports the email warned Senator Cliff Brannon that if he didn't take a bill that favored Gearhart's political group, Gearhart would, quote, make sure you regret not doing it. Defense attorneys argued the email was political speech protected by the First Amendment. We are appealing this. Um, the judge sat in there and flatly ignored the Supreme Court rulings on this case that say specifically that coercive statements are protected by the free speech. This is not only a coercive statement, just like the Claiborne versus N NAACP, this is also political speech. It's a double whammy, and the judge sat there and ignored it, just like the prosecutor ignored it. You mean just right now, he, you're talking you about your... You have seen this yeah. motion. You're talking about he ignored your motion, basically. Yes, sir. The question you should be asking is, why is this prosecutor charged me in the first place? Why do I have to go down and get blood drawn and treated as a felon? I am a felon now for speaking my mind in a political matter. Why aren't you asking those people those questions? I mean, you're going to be spending a lot of money on the transcript to appeal this, aren't you? Yes, sir, but if I don't, every single person in this state can be done the same way that I've been done. It is wrong. It is wrong. Fundamentally wrong. Mr. Gilbert, you stepped through a, a, a trial. You now had to pay $1,000. Um, does it seem like it was worth it? I think if I protect these, the civil rights of everybody in the state, you'd better believe it's worth it. I think we have the right to speak out against a crooked politician. Mr. Brannon refused to sign that, to have that bill heard. You had overwhelming majority in the, in the House, uh, what was it, 85 to 16? I think it was, maybe it was 65 to 15. An overwhelming majority of the House members, representing three and a half million people, said, we want this bill to be heard in the Senate. Mr. Brannon, acting on his own, refused to do that. Why? Why is no one asking those questions? Do you regret sending the email? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What I did was protected free speech. I've, I sent two emails out that night. Both of them were nearly identical. The other one went to the House and said, this bill needs to die. Don't earn a pallet load of newspapers in your districts. Get this bill killed. They killed the bill the next day. House leadership killed it. They did that not because of me. They did that because I represent the Tea Party because people listen to what I say, because we generally take the high road and try to maintain it. Now, we're rough. There's no question about it. I was rough on Brennan, but that's the only way you can get these people to listen to you. They're corrupt. You going to do anything different in the future? What we tend to do is if someone hits us, we hit them back 10 times harder. Now, Mr. Brennan, everybody, I think the Oklahoman ran the story about us doing the, the website and all the signs, there were thousands of small signs, BrennanTheBigot.com. Mr. Brandon got paid back for that. He got the political payback for it. Do you think Tea Party's efforts are the reason he didn't get elected? Absolutely. It was 2%. I guarantee we had 2% say in that election. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you.